I see three flaws, Major. You split your forces, you're vulnerable in the air, and you take our enemy for idiots. You think that Jedi isn't expecting this? Out! Yes, sir. Incompetence everywhere. I can't believe it's come to this. Asking for alien help to save our empire. Don't worry, it's not contagious. That was the least of my concerns. Adegan crystals. Imperial scientists can now transform these glitzy bits of rock into the most powerful stealth technology in the galaxy. We want every ship in the Imperial Armada fitted with this tech. An unstoppable stealth armada. You said something over hollow about Republic interference. To succeed, we need two things. To control Ilum's crystal supply, and to bring our fleet safely to Ilum for modification. Ilum's no place for a war. Narrow passages, sharp jutting rocks, and the coldest wind you ever felt. But that Republic Admiral wants a war. He sent Jedi Master Jeric Caden to lead the Republic's elite alien armies on the ground. Caden's pinned us in. The only reason Master Caden is still around is because he hasn't met me. I'm counting on that. The Jedi think of Ilum as their planet. Only two of them were here when we arrived, but they have ruins scattered around the place. The ruins housing Master Caden's base are too small for anything but a strike team, and they're surrounded by cliffs full of Duras shock troopers. You don't expect me to go on a suicide mission without a strategy. Our only chance is to lure the Duras shock troopers into the open where they're vulnerable. I've established fake supply depots between here and the ruins. Master Caden is over-aggressive. He's already mobilized the shock troopers to capture the depots, clean out the duros at the supply depots, and then assault the ruins' base. <laughs>